Hello all the good people of Crash Champions 0547. It's David with Discount Forklift. I am excited to be standing here next to your brand new 6,000 pound lithium ion powered lithium, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Lift Hero forklift. Great forklift. As you can tell, we've got your logo on there on your company color. Love the way this came out. I think they look sharp. Hopefully you guys will be proud to, to operate this. I want to tell you that uh, all the forklifts have names. This is Sylvie. Sylvie's a workhorse. You'll love Sylvie. She uh, will do everything you want her to do, but I'm going to tell you, if you call her by name, she'll give you that little bit extra. And who doesn't like an employee that gives you a little bit extra, right? So uh, she will definitely do that. Before we get into the uh, forklift itself, I want to take a minute and show you a few things that I'm uh, putting in this goodie bag here. Here is a uh, hat, our favorite brand of forklift, the Lift Hero. I have got a uh, t-shirt here as well. This is the evolution of lifting. Here's the evolution of lifting in the back of that. That's good. Also in this bag, probably the most important thing is this forklift maintenance guide. Now this forklift being lithium ion powered is amazingly maintenance free. Obviously you're still going to have to grease the zerts on a regular basis and all that kind of stuff. But this forklift here um, is amazingly maintenance free. Nonetheless, I did want to include this uh, forklift maintenance guide in here. There's all kinds of good information about the forklifts, tips and information and whatnot. One of the best things is back behind this tab here, there are your uh, periodic sign offs here. Here's all these forms here that are right there. I always recommend that people leave the originals in the book and that way uh, you could shoot the photocopies from the book and you always know where there's a, a good clean original. Let me put that here. We're going to send that with the lift. Walk you around here. Right next to Sylvie's name tag, you'll notice there's a little door here and a, a warning sticker underneath there. This is your charging port here. And it's very important that two things. Number one, you don't let the power get below about 30%. If you get close to 30%, plug her in and give her a little quick charge. Number two is that when you go to charge her, you turn off the forklift and take the keys out of the ignition. Got to do that before you do it. You've got a little door here with a little push button on there. You can see you open that up. You've got this rubber plug there. Just pull that off and you've got your charging uh, plug there. Your charger will be in a cardboard box on the back of the forklift when you get it. Um, that'll plug into any 110 outlet. So just plug that in uh, to a 110 outlet. You don't have to be in a specific spot to do this as long as you've got power nearby. Um, just give her a charge when she needs it. The uh, forklift um, controls themselves are pretty typical for a forklift. You've got your three levers, you've got your up down, you've got your tilt, you've got your side shift. On the uh, steering column itself, you've got two uh, levers there. On the left side there, you've got your transmission control, three position. Up is forward, middle is neutral, down is reverse. On this side, you've got your lights and your blinkers. And of course, we don't want to forget the other two important things that are over here. Number one is your parking brake here. And next to that, the little red button there, that is a power cutoff to the battery. Now that's not a button you're gonna use all the time. If you had to work on the battery or something like that, that's when you would do that. But if you go through your startup procedure and it won't do anything, that's a good place to start right there. Make sure nobody bumped it. If they did, just pop that back up and uh, you'll be good to go there. Okay, on the um, forklift itself, I, I can't get over these tires. This is not your grandfather's uh, forklift. Look at the tires on this. Look how, uh, how nice those tires are. This is great whether you're inside or outside. Um, you've got the power to go through. Um, ob obviously on concrete, if you're on uh, asphalt, that's fine. If you're on dirt and gravel, you'll be fine. A little precipitation, no worries for these tires. You've got it covered. Up on the mast here, um, you'll notice the um, service sticker there. Um, just been serviced and whatnot. On the front of the forklift here, you've got your uh, forks that we've painted safety colors. We're big on safety. We want everybody to go home safe and sound at the end of every day. So you'll notice that we've painted the forks red with yellow tips. That way, if you're in a dark spot of the warehouse or you're out um, on the parking lot, whatever, uh, early morning, late at night, and it's a little dark, you're running across that dark uh, parking lot. You can still see where the forks are. Be aware where those spark forks are. You don't want to hit anybody or anything. Everybody needs to go home safe and sound at the end of every day. Now, 
As far as the forklift operation, there's four important things you need to do before you can operate it. I just did the first one, and that's put my butt in the seat. It's very important that you have a butt in the seat. There's what they call operator presence system on there. You cannot operate the forklift by standing next to it. You can't turn it on. You can't uh, uh, raise or lower the forks. You can't do any of that without somebody actually sitting in the seat. So get your butt in the seat. The second one is pretty obvious, and that is the seat belt. Um, you need to have your seat belt fastened at all times when you're on the forklift. So that's number three. Or two, number three is the transmission control here. Um, it's got to be in neutral for you to start it. And number four is the uh, uh, parking brake right here. The parking brake has to be on. So those four things have got to be done before you start it. Now before we get started on this, I want to point out to you that up on the mast up here, Another safety feature, it is marked 6,000 pound capacity. We've all seen the forklift fails with somebody that does something stupid or foolish with the forklift. Don't become a member of that club. Be safe, be sound. Don't try to overextend the forklift. She's a workhorse, she'll do everything she's designed to do, but don't try to overload it. Um, also, there is a alarm on this forklift that's always on, not just when you're backing up. It's a presence alarm. We want everybody around you to be aware of the fact that the forklift is operating and uh, there's that moving equipment right there. So pay attention to that. There's also a uh, blue flash or blue light on the back and an amber flashing light. Again, it's, it's the situational awareness there. When you start to forklift, this isn't your typical forklift. You don't have the, the starter, there's no engine in it. So when you turn on the forklift, all you've got to do is just turn on the key and uh, give it about 15 seconds to go through its checks. Probably can't hear that alarm in the video, but you'll definitely hear it in person. Check that out. First thing I'm going to do here is to do a brake check. Good brakes there. By the way, there is a grab bar here. If you um, are backing up and want to use that grab bar, that's sometimes convenient. There's also a red button on there. That's your horn. Got one on the uh, center here. So whichever way you do it, you've got a horn available. Let's make everybody aware of the fact that uh, that forklift is moving. Let everybody go home at the end of every day. This area is really a little too small to really show you the capabilities of this forklift. You can appreciate that better after you get her and put her to work, but I think you'll be very pleased with this. Let me bring her around here. Take the mask up. Here's your tilt, go all the way forward, bring it all the way back. Here's your side shift, all the way to the right, to the left. That'll come in handy when you're moving things. Guys, this uh, forklift will hopefully help you a lot, take some of the burden off your backs, make your work a little easier. I'm excited to get it to you. Want to thank you for supporting our company so we can support companies like yours. Thanks, guys. Here's your serial number.